The Life of Your Heart. Heaven Letter Number 4963. June 27, 2014. You and every single reflection of my one child have this purpose in life, to keep your love intact. Above all, you must not let your love wither on the vine. You must not give your heart all the sundry reasons why it must harden. No matter all your justifications for closing your heart, you mustn't close down your love. You do not slobber love, yet, nor do you contract it. Putting bars around your heart is tantamount to your ending the life of your heart. I, God of love, if I were to name a sin, holding back on your heart would, hands down, would be what I name. You may say that someone hurt you so much that you have to protect yourself. Closing your heart makes no sense, dear one. You don't close the barn door after the horse got out. Furthermore, closing your heart because of hurt rendered is locking yourself out of the barn. Closing your heart hurts you. It harms you. Oh, yes, it also hurts the other you may hold responsible for hurting your heart, and it also hurts the world. No one gets out unscathed from newly found self-righteousness. No matter what has occurred, your hurt is self-imposed. Whom exactly are you trying to punish for it? I understand that your heart got hurt badly, and I, too, wish it had not, yet it did. No punishment is needed, not for you and not for any other. Everyone on earth has ventured on what, in retrospect, seems like a fool's errand. Absolve yourself of blame. Maybe what you rue now was the right thing then, but not even that matters. Let it go. Your heart is not meant to be armed. If your heart is meant to be armed, then it is meant to be armed with the arms of love. Resentment contracts. Resentment, anger, distrust, tighten your heart. They make your heart small, and you make yourself small, and you cut away at the love in the world. You are a conduit for love, and conduits are to be kept open so that all love can circulate. Whoever you are, wherever you are, no matter the circumstances, no matter how much someone's indifference has hurt you, you are not to take it out on your heart. Whatever it takes to get your heart back, you have to get your heart back. Contrary to what you may feel, letting go doesn't cost you. It repays you. There is no other way. This is my heart and yours that you are closing. Open the gates wide. Say. God, on your say so, I am letting the bars down on my heart which is your heart and mine. No matter how much I have agreed with you that I must not restrain my heart, I have almost strangled it. I am so sorry. I want to say that I will never do it again and, and, still, I can't quite seem to reopen my heart all the way. God. I do know that whatever I perceive as done to me was not done to hurt me. You once said that everyone at the time thinks that his or her position is the right one. I am guilty of that. And anyway, God, what can we deluded humans do but give up righteousness and raise up love instead? I know this. I know the truth of this, and yet my heart is worn down from the weight of this hurt, and I am not sure that I can lift it. Beloved. Then let the weight of your own conceived woundedness and resentment slide off you. Imagine you have a wheelbarrow full of your hurt and resultant anger, and just tip them off the wheelbarrow by the side of the road. Dump them out. Once out of your heart, they will disappear. Beloved beloveds, what is it that you cannot do when I am here with you? Here, let me help you. And, if you have to repeat this a few times, then that's all right. For now you are going in the right direction. You can be assured that the weight you drop off will not pollute the environment. You may still see shadows of the dross for a while. What you still see is like the echo of a sound. An echo tells you that the sound is over. All senses have their echoes, beloveds. Somehow antagonism felt precious to you, and now you begin to see how ineffectual it was and how absolutely not worth anything. When you want to come out of the darkness, simply go toward the light. And here I am, light shining on you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org